Classic FM 91.1, the only station that plays every song you know. That one was from Raskimono. It is a song entitled Rumba Style. Now that song was released way back in the late 80s. Earlier on I did tease that we had a legendary singer who's going to be with us on the show. And guess what? He is here. Absolutely, absolutely thrilled to have him. That picture was on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash classic FM 911. An official welcome to you. Ras Kimono. Yes, greetings, sis. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to take a few minutes to just catch my breath because this is like absolutely, absolutely amazing. Ras Kimono is not alone here. We've, we've also got a, a Batakat artist who is homegrown and his name is C Strokes. Greetings, people. Oh, wow. I just want to throw my hands up and say, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely lovely to have you here. Ras Kimono, I know we've had this conversation. I shouldn't call you Mr. Kimono, but it's hard. <laughs> it's very, very hard. <laughs> well, that's a Rasta man. We love you, that Mr. and Mrs. and them thing and thing. That's Ras. Come here, Ras. Right. Ras Kimono. Yeah, man. It's hard to talk about the Nigerian music industry from the 80s and the early 90s without actually speaking about you. Mm. You had a massive, massive impact, and you still do, actually. Let's talk about uh, how did you get into music? Well, I would say I was born, and when I, I remember when I was like a kid, I always tell my parents, when I grow up, I'm going to be a musician, yeah? Uh, back in the days, as a little youth, we have to get some strings and some milk tin and put across and I play the strings and from my youth I know definitely this is what I want to be even though whether I go to school or not this is what I want to be so I have it from my youth already so and I grew up my parents never really questioned me and you know argue with me about it and what they always say we wish you the best so I know it from my youth so I pursued the career never derailed I could have been Maybe a doctor or a judge or timber, you know, timber maker. But I know my focus, man, and I, I focus on it. Without arts, but I still focus on it, and that's what took me here. Wow, that's awesome. So, uh, what was the first single you ever did? That's Room Master. Well, it wasn't a single. It's back in the days, we don't do no single. Mm. We do full LP, man. Ten tracks, eight tracks. If you can't do it, just go and sleep in your mama house. <laughs> Tell ya. So really and truly, my first outing was Under Pressure, which contains rumba style. I did not sing then Under Pressure because I was under pressure, so I could not sing with that tune until maybe four years later, then I came out with Under Pressure Part 2, where I can sing and express myself a more one mm -hmm. in the society. But the first Abba was under pressure, purely instrumental. Oh. And I have Leko Sugar there, uh, Kimono Rastafarian, uh, then Persecute, Kill Apartheid, and the rest of them. Wow. Mm. All right, so what year was this? 88. You know, I've seen a lot of your videos, and it's amazing. You looked very young. You must have started really early. Well, I don't think it was early, man, but unfortunately, how you, you are looking youth. And most of them do, most youth men who listen to me when they had a secondary or university. So when someone see me, they think, say, oh, that's one of the old man because you played the tune long ago. No, oh, man. I think I was in my 30s then, too. I was mm. in my 30s. You know, I wasn't really too old or too young then. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because the music came out at that time and when the whole country was like, hey, we need something to, you know, relax and you know, deal with the truth. And now this youth boy come out with the truth and wicked. And some of them are finished university and general manager, politicians, soldier military, and they see me and say, hey yo, we rock your music back in the days, man. And like say, me an old man, me not a blood club, me not a rasta. It just tell us me there. You see? Mm. There was a song you did called Nazi Get to Jail. Yeah, man. Okay, when I was younger, I had a lot of older aunties who, you know, would always have uh, certain input with the songs because I was really curious about Nigerian music at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they told me that that song was basically because your brother was arrested. Did you ever hear any rumors like that? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually for real, right? That tune was originally written for Fela Kuti. 
Oh. Fella was arrested and I came up with that tune. I haven't even done an album then. I haven't done any album then. I feel like it's a jail. You must have given me a jail. And my father said, Jack, the release will last. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So I have to recall it to not to get jail. Oh. Originally, it was written because of fella. You know, and I could have dropped it if we do drop singles then. Mm. But there was not a lot of singles in Nigeria then. In foreign, there was single. There was, you know, long play single. There was. A uh, little uh, seven inch play. Mm -hmm. If it was in Nigeria, I could have dropped it then. But no, they want you to, the uh, recording company wants you to do about 10 songs and different tracks. And then we call it old school. Like me and my brother always say, no man, we are great school. Yeah. Not old school. We are great school. Because we learn. And that's why we say, they upon the go. How do you know? No, no concert that you then play that never put me. And when we come, they come in a different style and mash them to blood. You know, we're not fearing them because we know say we're the original. We are the original. Mm -hmm. You know? So yeah. them are the food, we are the roots. Yes so <laughs> Amen. I'm about to say preach. Ah. <laughs> so uh, were you signed up to a major record label at the time? Then yeah, Polygram International. Okay. And after what after four years or so. They sold all the Nigerian big companies like Polygram, EMI, mm. Asani Music. Nigerians said they want to buy it. That white boy should run away. And when Nigerian people bought it, they can't even manage it proper. Mm. And that's why the music business starts nose diving. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go on to the music rescue. I know this one is from you, of course. And it's a song entitled What a Guan. Actually, I mean, I like all your music. Absolutely love it. But this one is uh, very groovy, me likey. So that's uh, if you want to be a part of the conversation, you can give us a ring. If maybe you want to say hello to Rescue Mono, he is here for a bit. The phone numbers are 0802 We'll take those phone calls in just a bit more. We're going on to the music. Here is Rescue Mono, the legend of himself, who's right here with us. And it is entitled What a Guan. It is Classic FM 91.1, the only station that plays every song you know. I'm sitting here with the legendary Rasky Mono. It's a surreal moment for me because I've absolutely loved him from when I was a, a very young child. And it's, you know, it's like one of those I love my job moments <laughs> where you have a chance to sit down and actually have a chat with a legend. I was about to say Mr. Kimono, so I'm going to punch myself now. So, Ras Kimono, yeah. at some point on the show today, you do a little freestyle for us, right? Mosdef. You do a little freestyle for us, yeah? Mosdef, Mosdef. Awesome, I'm already looking forward to that. The phone lines are here. Would you love to hear from some of your fans? Mosdef, that's it. All right, uh, give us a ring. The telephone numbers are 0802-4000-911. Classic FM, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, All right, Harry, speak to us. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just want to beat my man there, man. He can hear you. Yeah, man. Bless, bless the region. Bless. Bless the region. Yeah, he said, he's not a school. Very good school. 
Hello, Tony. Where are you calling from? Oh, nice. All right, Tony. Speak to us. I'm still doing my thing. To answer the first caller, right? Mm. The first caller, yes, my brethren. Give thanks for all what you said, man. But it's unfortunate that, yeah, most of us that grow together, most of them are uh, Senate, House of Senate, House of Assembly, House of Reps, uh, even President, apart from this President, present President. And most of them, we are eighth grade. And some of them, we thought they could have conscience. You know, but unfortunately, most of them still don't have conscience to know what's going on because if most of them do dance this tune, whether they're in the college or university, I believe that by now they should be conscious enough to know and say that things are not right. And when they step in there, they should make things right. But it's like there's a template that they put there in Asorok that if you reach there, you got to follow the template. Uh, if you're not bad, when you get to that place you turn a bad man and that's what we say fire go on them the wicked politicians fire go on them the wicked politicians not everybody's wicked i have, I have all the brothers and sisters who are politicians they're nice a lot of friends who are nice but unfortunately most of our youth don't have conscience thank you bro thank you bro I want to ask, I read an article that one of your daughters mm. is uh, a singer as well. Yeah, man. Is she like um, a reggae artist? Yes, uh, no, no, she's doing dancehall, but not profanity dancehall. Mm. You know, a lot of people do dancehall with profanity, but she's doing dancehall consciously. Mm. All her songs are conscious. But because a youth, she is a youth, she still loves this, but, but, but as she's growing, I believe she's going mellow down mm. and play proper reggae. Because that's all, you don't really listen to what they say. You, it's, the it's the beat that you jump to. Mm. But reggae music, you don't need to dance reggae music. You have to listen and get the message proper. So she into music and she's doing that's all, good that's all. Because sometimes I listen to her tune, and boy, I love our children. And sometimes I say, come on, hold tight and dance with me with this tune, man. Mm. I hold out tight and dance, we go to club. And there's a tune she did here in Kodaka with a, a youth called West. That the West, wickedest tune that. Boss, you know that? Yeah, me know that. Wickedest tune that. Anytime I hear that tune, I don't even believe that she's my daughter, you know? I think she's maybe from outer space or somewhere, you know? <laughs> she uh, definitely got the talent from daddy. Well, probably, maybe. <laughs> and your God bless her too. Your first blow. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I can see there's a lot of pride and the smile on your face when yeah. you're speaking about her. You know, we daughters, we just love that. Oh, yeah, because she's good. That's why it's good to bring a child the way of the love. So when she grew up, she has to, you know, follow the step and respect God and respect elders. Right. Yeah, I saw a picture of you and Alex Zito yeah, somewhere in the United States. Exactly. Are you guys working on something? Well, that's my brain. I, I did a tune, the tune I released two years ago called uh, Matter of Time. Mm. I, I did the whole work in the studio in Minnesota mm. while I was in the US. And this one now that's going here now, I did in this studio too last year in America. So 
It's in America. Any time I do, I go to America. I want to walk. I go to see them. I stay with you most times when I go to America. Wow. It's my brother. It's my brother. That's and then uh, anybody who want to read about Alex, Alex, come ask me. <laughs> yeah, come ask me. But I bet you he's coming next year, though. Oh, that is, I would love to have him he's here. He's coming next year. He's going to touch everywhere. Oh, that is awesome. Rescue Runner is still here. We can take a few more phone calls. Classic FM, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Godswill. I'm calling from Bogabon. All right, Godswill, speak to us. Uh, Rasta man, I hate you. Yeah, man, give thanks, my brother. Rasta man, there was once we met in the fucking chair, remember? Oh, whoa. Oh, I got comfortable, so I always remember everything. I think I'm doing good to you, man. Same. Give thanks. I just want to tell you I ride on, and I wish God bless you more, and take care of you and your family and all the rest of Amen. Give thanks, my brother. Yes, I bless. On to the music. Uh, this one is, of course, from Raskimono, and this one is entitled Kimono Day Wants. I love this one, by the way. Sorry, I'm a bit loud. Colleagues, thank you so much. Collins, <laughs> thanks so much, man. Collins is one of our engineers. Yeah. He's Collins. God bless you. <laughs> Tell me about this song, Kimono Day Ones. It's um, it does sound kind of different from the other songs that we played. Tell me, you know, what was going through your mind when you were writing that song? Well, yeah, I, really, actually, I'm not a songwriter, you know? Mm. I'm a composer. I mean, I write. Okay. Like, picking up a pen, I write like a poem. No, man. But, me after me drop the first tune, and me say, hey, me say they love kimono. So, I said, we have to sing this tune, man. Kimono, they want, kimono, they must forget. And, it just come, and, you know, sometimes, as I have a band, so I rehearse every time, mm -hmm. and during rehearsal, I really can just come. That's what I'm saying, I'm not a songwriter. I don't, you know, a lot of people pick up a pen and paper and write, like, poem, like, lovers, writing a letter to love, love a girl. Mm -hmm. But no, man, when we rehearse it, rhythm can come, and lyrics can come, we we'll just build up that way. So, when this one come like that, I say, you know what? We just build it. But I never knew, you know, that's when big kind of impact that it did make. Just like Rumba style. Rumba style was like, it wasn't my kind of style because there was no reality check there. It just about, you know? But I found out that these two tunes make more impact to people. Maybe the way I sing I well. Some I met some couple of people say, feel like crying when I hear this song. And like Rastafarian. They say you're crying, you know? But everybody get this feel, you know? Different way and different style when they feel the truth. So really and truly, I, that was nothing really going in my mind when I was singing this song, just singing a song. Because I wasn't too much conscious about it. I'm more conscious about when it comes to a uh, political one or more of uh, speaking about the ease of society. Yes. Those I'm more conscious of. But what I'm singing, this kind of one, Mary, I just give it away. And unfortunately, those are the ones that really makes more impact than we are more conscious. Because people don't want to listen to conscious one. Right. They want to just just dance and dance and dance. No, yeah. Like I did a tune, Jackson Speed was a conscious tune, but I bet you. Nobody really care about that. Last month, there were pictures of you and Elephant Man yeah. on. Um, you guys had just performed. Yeah. Uh, what festival or what? It was a food and music festival. Okay. Down in uh, Newport Richie, in Florida. You know. Any yeah. chances of you guys doing something together in? The well, studio? most most likely, uh, he wants to come to Nigeria too. Wow. He's lingering, eager, and looking forward to come to Nigeria. You know, but no right promoters come for him. And the manager specifically told me that 
Sometimes, like two years ago, they wanted to come, mm. and some people do them some bandolos, some 419. Oh, That's no. why they couldn't come. Hi. But they're still looking forward to come to Nigeria. So, probably when they come, we just say so. We might do something, something together. What's your relationship like with Magic Fresh Air? It's my brother, you know? Me and we live in the US together. We live in ATL for, you know, move from, we move from New York to Cali, from Cali back to ATL. I was said we live like three years in eighty years okay. before I moved back to Nigeria and even said moved back to Nigeria. So it's my brother now we live together, man. We've been from even before we went to US in, in Nigeria, Lagos City we used to live together too. Oh, so it's my yeah, okay. my bona fide bridge. Yeah. Right. Um I had read something, um, you know, that just but you know, we that clears it up anyways, because sometimes the bloggers can make up some not so nice tales. So yeah, it's good to know that you guys have a, a great relationship. Oh yeah, me and him, but sometimes, you know, like hey, like two, three years ago, he went on air and told them that, hey, tomorrow see his big belly. He says a vegetarian. No, in the night he eats to go to meat. That's why his belly is big. So he was he went on this over and you know, that voice is said, man. <laughs> <laughs> he can tell any bull stuff, you know, so and the, the press want to make it a, a yeah. news, you know? Mm. So someone called me, so I say, hey, yo, see what my dad said about you, what do you have to say? I say, shut up, man. You don't take my man serious, so don't take him serious. So I punch the matter that way, you know? Okay. So it's my brother, man. The press wanted to build uh, a big mountain out of more hole, mm. you know, but I'll just quench it. But I know it's my brother, right. and it doesn't mean no harm to me. When me as him see, and that's how we play. You know? Okay, so it was just something that was blown out of proportion. Yeah, man. Really. Back to the music from Rastimono. This one is entitled Under Pressure. It is Classic FM 91.1, the only station that plays every song you know. That was, of course, Rastimono with that song Under Pressure. And he did say he was under pressure to release that one. <laughs> It is 2.51 p.m. here on Saturday Fiesta with me, Zibi. I've got the legend here with me. And C Strokes is also here. C Strokes is a reggae artist who is homegrown here from the beautiful city of Port Harcourt. Hi, C Strokes. Your yeah, greetings, my sister. I've been enjoying myself sitting alongside with the legend himself. You know, It's good to have him here. For some of us, it was a great inspiration for some of us still being in this great music we can live because reggae can die mm, wow mm -hmm. um you know it's it's really interesting i'm always curious how did the reggae sound move from uh, jamaica onto nigeria i want to let you know that uh, reggae is an african music mm. they moved from africa to jamaica oh wow it is the rhythm of the black man so it seems like uh, the music was stolen, replicated, and now it's back home. No, you came home and then we had to perfect it, to let them know that we, we can do it better. Mm. And we have more soul in it. And if you check today, if you go back to Jamaica, you have more dancehall artists than the real conscious people. Mm. Uh, they're having that problem, not because it is the reflection of the society, uh, but we pray that those who are still in the conscious, they are able to bring more. You remember when legends like uh, my Jack, my brother Kimono, uh, Oris Willick, when they left the stage for a while, mm. they created a, a big vacuum in this country. Yeah. And legends are leaving Jamaica, Peter Torch and the rest. Uh, you have new artists coming up. But because, like he said, a lot of them are not ready, they are in the haste to make it. There is this uh, um, stardom coming up, you just want to just get your music out there. In those days, you sit and get it properly done. And so for conscious, if you have to be a conscious reggae artist, you have to be up and doing. And the question is, is this present generation ready to tour that line? Wow, that sounds very deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is the beautiful thing about reggae music. Sometimes it just makes you sit down and think and ponder about things that are going on around you. And of course, Raskimono, who has been in the game for almost 30 years, is not showing any signs of slowing down. In fact, he has a new album. Uh, I actually have a copy of that right now. And it is entitled Senseless Killing 
another prophecy. It's got four tracks on it, uh, Senseless Killing, Blessed Africa, Killer Dub, and Africa Dub. Oh wow, there's a lot of background information on here. Recorded at Alex Zito's Tiggy Studios in Minnesota. Um, is this like your usual style? Is there a fusion of anything else? Is it pure reggae? Pure reggae, rock, mono style. You know, some is slightly different from the rest. Mm. I mean, actually, I'm not around with Some still, some still, some still. Some still. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some still rasta, you know? I'm not trained, I'm not sure. All right, I've got a copy of this CD with me. That's why I want to ask, jollof rice or fried rice? <laughs> fried rice is Chinese food. We, we, we don't know about fried rice. After China people come to Africa and say fried rice. Okay. All what we cook white rice or jello rice. So if you ask me, bum bum class with fried rice. A pure jello we deal with rasta. All right. Pure so jello. What about you? Yeah, jello fries. Yeah, man. Jello fries. A China man bring fried. Yeah. We never fried rice before. I, I didn't eat fried rice until probably on the. After, yeah, after you turn 55. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. So, uh, growing up, I never saw fried rice. All I could see was jello. Jello fries, rice, Rasta. Secondary, university jello. And then suddenly you wake up one morning and there's a fry. It's called fried. Wow. <laughs> and it's not as tasty as jello. I think I'm alone on the fried rice team. Well, well you're yeah, a little youth. So all you girl of 1990s and you started with fry. We started with fry, <laughs> and that's why most most of most girl too like you know, who did not suck mama breast. They with the team food of uh what they call the connection food and mm -hmm. all them thing mm -hmm. and That's why nowadays our combination most, was uh, breast milk and uh, you know this. Uh, what do you, what do you uh, come here? Yeah, come yeah, you know, come here. Yeah, man. that's why most of girls nowadays or youth nowadays generally their mentality is totally different. They don't think alike, they don't listen alike. It's a way word and bad bad thing. Did you try a camera? Did you try I don't like it though, but I tried it. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I tried it, but I just didn't like it. Yeah, I, the thing is, I don't like it. But how? Do you do some breast milk? Of course, that's but, why I'm intelligent. I have a master's degree. <laughs> It's past 3 p.m. here. We're speaking with Raskimono, who is a legendary Nigerian artist. We see your calls, we see your messages, we see your tweets. Let's go onto Facebook and see what Facebook is saying. Um, no Noale Befi says Raskimono, a legend in reggae music. Jacob Asukwa says, Raskimono, well done, you boss. Charles Ekbe says he's a legend and the best in the reggae world. Ja, bless you, Raskimono. Live long. I'm absolutely thrilled to have him here. Thank you so much, Raskimono, for being here with us. Lift I mean, it's an honor. You're my darling, any day, anywhere, anytime. <laughs> my Passario, oh, wow. number one. <laughs> Classic number one. Any last words for the fans? Well, I love you down to the bone, like good food in a dumpling. Yeah, I love the bad, and I beg no youths, especially now that the whole country is under pressure still. I beg you, stop the senseless killing. It takes not nowhere. It's appalling. We are nowadays a lot of shooting and going on. I beg you, stop the senseless killing. Gun is not meant for we. Gun is supposed to be meant for animals. And besides, Nigeria is not in war. I don't know why only carry gun and shoot one another. I beg you, I use, I beg you to leave drugs alone. I find out that too much drugs in this country now makes you them go gaga. And when they take that drug, boy, they're out of hand. I beg you, leave drugs alone. If you're Christian, read your Bible a day because that keeps you away. If you're Muslim, yeah, read your Quran. All of the want in this country is peace and love. Peace and love. One, one nation, one unity. That's what we want to be under one umbrella. So I beg you. But I can't. I do not say this is my city. Mm. Yeah, I do know that already. Yes, I beg you. Keep holding tight. I beg you. Make you not let politics divide we. Because we used to live in peace and harmony. I beg you. One love. And that's what we preach. All under right. one umbrella. Love Thank the bad. You. Thank you so much. See strokes. Yeah. Anything to add? Well, I think um, he said it all. I just want to appreciate classic fm 91.1 and hopefully we'll continue to enjoy the very best the classic that you know that's been oozing out from the station and um 
be rest assured I'll be listening every now and then. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Rascal.